With six months to go until the UK is due to leave the EU, the British Chamber of Commerce has issued a stark warning on the risks of a no-deal Brexit. Well, let's get more of this from our UK correspondent, Vincent McAvinney in London. Vinnie, you know, this report is really quite worrying, isn't it? Good morning, Isabel. Well, as you mentioned there, tomorrow marks six months until the UK leaves the European Union after 45 years of membership. And we've had an increasing number of warnings over the past couple of months from businesses because we think that around 80% of the deal is currently done in Brussels, but that last 20% is the most difficult part. And we've seen last week the Prime Minister's checkers plan being shredded by the other EU leaders in Brussels. So there is a real question mark now over what will happen with plans for no deal being stepped up, the final tranche of no deal documents having been published this week. And some of the business leaders we've heard from, like the bosses of BMW and Jaguar Land Rover, have said that the government needs to work quicker. They need to be more transparent about this. They have complicated manufacturing product lines that uh, will simply have to stop if they cannot get a good enough deal. Other businesses, the boss of Next and Weatherspoons, the pub chain, saying that this has all been overblown. But this is one of the biggest surveys conducted since the referendum by the British Chambers of Commerce. And it has found that two thirds of firms are still uh, aren't preparing for Brexit. And in the event of a no deal outcome, many would cut investment and recruitment plans. One fifth also said that they would move part or uh, all of their business to the EU. And this really chimes with what the Bank of Go England Governor uh, Mark Carney has said recently, that he is uncomfortable, that the high probability of no deal now, he says that should be avoided at all costs because it would lead to, in his uh, words, a plummeting pound, higher interest rates and higher unemployment. So severe economic shock for the economy. But there are those already rounding on this survey saying that this is once again project fear. But now that they were drawing closer to the Brexit date and there still seems to be real problems for Theresa May's plans, it's looking more and more likely that uh, some of these no deal Brexit plans may have to come into place. Yeah, well, well Vinny, you know, Brexit dominated the Labour Party conference. We've got the Conservative Party conference starting this weekend. Uh, Brexit's likely to dominate that as well, isn't it? I think Brexit is going to dominate at the Conservative Party conference even more than it did at the Labour Party conference because Labour were trying to put out a quite well-rounded offer. They think that there might be a snap election, so they were trying to put out a lot of policies that you'd find in a manifesto, whereas the Conservative one is really going to all be about Brexit. And the first salvo has been fired this morning with Boris Johnson, the former Foreign Secretary, writing a 4,000-word piece in The Telegraph, unveiling his Brexit plans, which would see him chucking checkers, taking on what he calls a super Canada deal. He's criticised the Prime Minister, saying that uh, her checker strategy is a moral and intellectual humiliation. He thinks that they'd be able to strike a uh, free trade deal, giving much of the same benefits of the current EU membership. And you wouldn't need a hard border in Ireland because it would be done elsewhere around the border. Now, there are people saying there isn't much new in this and much of it has already been rejected by the EU. But the timing is, of course, important because Boris Johnson is going to speak on the eve of the Prime Minister's own speech at the party conference. He will be outlining why he thinks he can lead the party probably with this new plan that he's published. Then Theresa May will speak and she has been protected whilst Parliament has been in recess for this uh, party conference season because the Conservative Party mechanism for replacing a leader can only be engaged when Parliament is sitting. So when they come back, Theresa May is going to have to be fighting for her checkers plan with her own MPs and with the European Union and fighting for her jobs because it's thought that they're close to the threshold of letters needed to trigger a fresh leadership election. And Boris Johnson, the man who's always wanted to be prime minister, is now on that path to trying to take number 10 from her. So much uncertainty in so little time. Well, Vincent McAvinney there, thanks very much for that update.